Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 23rd of June 2024. I hope you are keeping well and uh, enjoying your weekend. It's a nice weekend here. I uh, went out for lunch and when giving the order was asked, um, are you allergic to any foods? And uh, when I asked my lunch date what on earth was going on, why we were asked, apparently um, there was an incident in Thailand this week of a child who ate something and became seriously ill after an allergic reaction. And apparently it's become common practice for restaurants to start asking whether people have any allergies. I don't know what they're going to do about it. If you say yes, will they refuse to serve you or will they rush you to a hospital if you're looking like slightly sick or something like that anyway i wonder what's going to happen with that if that will continue or if it will become public policy or something like that i'm not really sure uh, i'm looking forward to listening to a podcast uh, from mother jones it's called i haven't heard it yet i haven't started listening yet but the um the blurb to it looks interesting it's called 40 acres and a lie it's about the promise of uh the promise made to freed black slaves uh, in the early days of uh, a promise of 40 acres and a mule, of course. I always remember Gil Scott Heron <laughs> singing about that and saying some people are still waiting for that. Um, it looks like an interesting podcast. If I've heard it, I'll let you know if it was good or not. Right, shall we get on with the game of Sudoku? It's, this is the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. And uh, we will start as soon as I spot something useful, which means a digit. There's one. Nine blocks up there. So we're going to start with a nine in this square here. What are we left with there? Two, six, eight. So we've got the two there, the eight there. Six, I'm not sure about. Let's see if that means anything. Twos. Twos are down there, down there. Oh, we've got two up here anyway. Uh, anything going with the sixes? Don't think so. Anything going with the eights? Probably not. Let's wander through the digits first, just in case we catch something. And I don't mean catch something unpleasant. I mean catch uh, a digit that we didn't notice before. And when I say we, of course, I mean me. You may well have seen something. Yeah, I've got something. Four over here and four down there puts four into one of those squares. Blocking up there, four blocking up there, four across here. But when we say four is across this way, it must be either here or there. We know that, that square there can't be four, so that must be a four. Okay, we've got a triple four, six. Oh, excuse me, the mouse is behaving slightly weirdly. Four, six, and eight block across here. We've got four, six, and eight in those squares there. I've got one interceding four. Fours are there. The six and eight, we don't know, but this is not four, six, or eight. It must be one, two. Okay, so immediately we see the twos blocking down here. That's going to put a two there, and the one blocking down there, and there's the one. And this is going to be 9 because this is 4, 6, and 8 there, right? So there we are. That will give us a pair of 9s up there. And 1s, 1 blocking up there and up there. So, and we've got 9 blocking here and 9 blocking there. So that's a pair of 1 and 9 up there. 
these then must be six and eight any help on six or eight it's a six eight pair and the answer is I don't know uh, all right well how about anything else up here one and nine so what else fives we already know are there I'm not sure but try to remind me later when I forget that that's a pair of one and nine I'm bound to forget it just try and remember for me what are we looking at down here uh, three five seven I suppose um, hmm. Okay, we've got two and four blocking these three squares here, and we've got two and four blocking this square. So we've also got a pair of two and four right here. That's a two and a four. So that means when our seven blocks down here, here and here, that has to be sevens in those squares. Must be. This is not seven. Uh, we're looking for three, five, seven in these squares here. We now know that seven has to be there. Ah, okay, actually, we can do this. We've got sevens across here like this, seven up there, that's a seven, and then seven down here, that's going to be seven there, isn't it? Okay, uh, uh, and we've got sevens over here and across there. Okay, we still need seven over this side. And that's sevens out of the way. Now back again to this. This I said this was two and four. So in these squares we are looking for Well, eight. So we got eight blocking there and eight blocking there. So that's gonna be eight. Again, two and four. So this is three and six, I think, isn't it? We've got the six blocking there. That's our six. This is our three and that is going to be five uh, back again two four down here now what are we left with in those squares one five six one five six uh, fives are down there the sixes I don't know oh hang on six is one of these so sixes are there six somewhere there right fives there
Okay, we've got three across here and three down there. Okay, so I've got one five and four here and I've got one five and four over here so that means in the middle this is one four five triple here one four and five I don't know which is which I see the four and the five there but I do know this is one four and five so let's come back in this row here and see what else we can get we've got one four and five that means we're looking for threes so we've got three taking care of this square and three taking care of that square so that's going to be our three these remember are not one four or five they must be six and eight. Oh, i had six eight down there didn't i i think i did so that's six eight there as well yeah it's right two six eight in this here so that's right but it doesn't really move the needle much but anyway let's get the three up here now and up there and across there that will give me a three in that square three across here three up there there's our three and three across here, there, up and down. Three and seven are out of the way. Now, as I said, this is one, four, five here. So these are two, six, nine. Now we've got two and six in the same column. So that's going to be a nine. And we have nine blocking across here and there. That's going to be a nine. So this is going to be a pair of six and eight, isn't it? Uh, so nines will be in those squares. Okay, that's two and nine down there, so that's two and nine here. So the two blocks across there and the two blocks down there, and that will give me a two in that square. And the last digit down here is a four. Memory is working quite well today, surprisingly well. Must be the good food that I had for lunch. Four there. This is going to be a six eight again, isn't it? We've got six eight, six eight like this. Uh, okay, we've got eight blocking there, we've got eight blocking there, so in fact we know that's our eight, it's very useful, that could finish the game for us. Six there, eight there, six there, and six blocking up, up and across will give us the six in that square. And was this a five, wasn't it? Yeah, five. Okie dokie. One number to go here. Wasn't that one and nine? I seem to remember. Yeah, it was. So this is going to be eight. We've also got an eight blocking across here now. That will give us an eight in that square. And we can get this because I remember we had two and nine blocking down here. That's two and nine. So this is one. One blocks across here. That gives us a one in that square. One blocking up gives us one here. Uh, missing numbers here now are 5 and 9. We've got 5 blocking across. There's our 5. This is our 9. 9 blocking back that way. Here's our 9. Here's our 1. And we are going very well today. Uh, missing digit down here, I think a 6. Yes. And this is 5. Down here, what are we looking for? Two and nine. Any help? No, no help on that. What are we looking for here and here? Four and something. Four, five, is it? Uh, oh, yeah, of course, that was one, four, five, was it? Right. Uh, okay, no help on four or five yet. Right, what's to go up here? One and. Uh, 
6, no help on 1 or 6. So these have to be 4, 5, 9. And they're all in different columns. Uh, 4, 5, so no, 9 is not there, sorry. Where? 4, 5, 9. What am I missing? Missing something. We can't get this close and then slow down. Surely not. We've been going at lightning speed so far. Let's go through the digits. Must be something. Um, okay. There we are. I need to have something. Eight's there, so that's an eight. The last digit to get here is a two. Slowed them down. I was getting a bit worried there. I thought maybe there's some kind of trick at the end, but no, not to be. Nine blocks up here, nine blocks up there, nine across there. There's our nine. Four blocks this square. We need a four in this row. It must go there. Five finishes this row. Now if you remember five like this, there's our five. We have one and four here, so four blocking there. There's our four, there's our one. One block's up there, there's our one. The last number to go here is a six. Still need a six here, six blocks across, there's our six. Two finishes the game, wow. Okay, a very straightforward game, but an enjoyable. For some reason I like the way that it flowed, uh, even though it was an easy game. Uh, it just went nicely there. Thank you very much. I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.